What's up, Finnish Moto fans? On today's episode of Wheelhouse Garage, I'm gonna be doing the repair slash upgrade on the foot pegs for this 1957 Triumph TR6 Desert Sled. This is the bike I was riding in the Biltwell 100, and I sheared off this left foot peg going over a big old whoop section in the first like four minutes of the race. It was wild, but it ended up working out okay. So we're gonna get this fixed today and upgraded. It's gonna be super fun. Wanted to make an announcement on the shirts they are going to be ready next Wednesday thank you so much to everyone who did pre-orders and guess what you got a great deal they turned out to be way more expensive than I thought so if you bought them already or you want to buy them between now and next Wednesday June 19th you will get the shirts for $27 after that I'm gonna to have to bump them up to 35 so now's your chance to get a deal thank you so much for supporting the channel okay let's get started on this but hold on it's a hot day in the shop and we need something to cool us off. So we're gonna be drinking an 805 today, Total California Classic. And let me show you the only reason to get married and get a wedding ring. So you can open it up like that. I'm just kidding. My wife's absolutely incredible and I love her to death. <laughs> but it's a cool way to open beer. Okay, check this out. This is the foot peg that I've decided to go with on this bike. You can get these from Matt over at Speed and Sport and I would be happy to put a link to it in the description. Now, this is a little bit more modern peg as you can see. It's got this, these jagged teeth here, wonderful construction. It's plated to prevent rust. And this is a weld on style, so it's got a mild steel bracket here that you can go ahead and weld onto whatever you need to weld onto. Some bikes, it's gonna be right to the frame. On this bike, it's gonna have like a little arm, uh, which actually is attached to a rod that goes through the primary case. So if you wanna hop in here a little bit closer, I'll show you my plan with this peg. All right, let me hold this out of the way. So here is the Triumph stock foot peg arm. As you can see, this is where the bait style folding peg was already welded on. So this has already been cut and modified in the past. You can see by the corrosion in here, this might not have been the best weld, which is probably why it broke. So here's my plan. I'm gonna clean up this face, get all this corrosion off and get all the old weld off, create a nice bevel there, and then weld this peg just like this. So it's gonna fold, I don't have two hands, so it's gonna fold up like this when it folds, and it's gonna be in the same location more or less. Now here, here's what I would like to do. I'm gonna do a circular weld around here. I think I'm also gonna drill a hole in here so I can do a rosette weld from this side and then just sand it flush so it doesn't interfere with the folding mechanism. I think that'll be a really strong weld and won't break for me. That's it. Well, that's on there pretty good. It's kind of hung up on this threaded rod. So I'm gonna undo the nut on the other side and pull it through and see if I can get it in the vise. Get it off that way so I don't have to bang on this primary case. So I was gonna use the double nut method to basically unscrew it from the seized foot peg arm but then my brother-in-law happened to show up, and the first thing he said was, do you have to take it out? To which I replied, actually, I don't. And it's kind of a nice handle to do the fabrication work that I need to do. So I just left it on. The bench grinder made short work of removing the old welds. I then used the belt sander to flatten the weld side while also making it parallel with the mounting surface on the other side of the foot peg arm. The wire wheel was used to remove the chrome next to the welding area. This flap disc helped me make the nice bevel that I wanted to increase weld penetration. So 
So I'm super happy with how this turned out. You can see how lining up this surface with this one gave me a ton of surface area right here. So I'm gonna have a lot to weld on when we go to put this together. I then did my best to mark where the two surfaces would come together to make sure I drilled the hole for the rosette weld in the right place. It was then time to hold it where I want it and tack it in place. delicate foot check just to make sure it's in a comfortable riding position. We're good to go and it's time to weld it up permanently. So as you can see I've got a lot of surface area to weld here which I love. worked. It's in the perfect position. Of course, I still have to do the other side, but that's no problem. It'll work out just the same way. And I'm really stoked about this. I cannot wait to ride it, which we'll do in a few weeks. But at this point, we're headed out of town tomorrow and I'm out of time. So we'll have to wrap this video up for today. But thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, buying t-shirts and all that stuff. I'll see you next Saturday with a whole new video. Cheers! Thanks so much for watching that video. Be sure to tune in every Saturday morning for more fun and adventures. There's over 30 motorcycles to check out on the Bike and a Beer series, and we now have t-shirts available for sale. Follow along for some epic adventures in the High Sierra on all types of rare and incredible motorcycles. There's a workshop element to this channel too, as I do a lot of my own mechanical work. I'll share all the tips and tricks I've learned, show you all the tools I use to get it done, and there'll be some exciting new products to promote as well. So join in every Saturday morning, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Thanks.